Um, yeah, so this is pretty awkward. I never forgot this comment, mate. I told you then, and I'll tell you now. This is a channel of integrity. Okay, so as you witnessed in that cold open, around a week ago, I dropped this. How dare you? Right, that's what I'm saying. Embarrassing on my part. With the hyperinflation in popularity and consumption of mainstream anime and manga over here in the West ever since... Uh, I guess this. Man, Tanjiro really did change society, didn't he? Crazy. But in reality, no matter how popular the stylistic Japanese genre got over here in the West, no matter how bad the manga sales were destroying the sales of westernized superhero comic books, no matter how mainstream or socially normalized the way of the weeb was and has become, there was always that one idea that we could agree on, that main denominator, the lightning rod that did the impossible, that could combine the forces of weebs and casuals alike. Live action adaptation. <sighs> what do we have here? We have Death Note, Parasite, Ghost in a Shell, Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Evolution, Cowboy Bebop, Avatar The Last Airbender, Trash, 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 Milk, 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 Milk. Get these garbage tier shows out of here and ban them to the Shadow Realm. And I think that's something we can all agree on. Well, most of us. But you know what is not trash? One Piece. And no, I am not talking about the life-altering mission 1000 episode plus anime epic. I'm talking about One Piece live action. One Piece LA is a triumph and a testament, not only to good shows in general, and shows that used to run amok in plentiful consumption across all networks and television screens before the dark ages of Hollywood, but what a show could and can be with a creative vision, proper planning, and an incredible behind-the-scenes division. Oh, and not having a mind-numbing studio wanker counteract your every move for the sake of, and while I'm not gonna lie, well, it's in writing, audio, and visual that I had my skepticisms and, to put it frankly, disregard for the whole idea of the show overall. I mean, even though I'm someone who hasn't taken on the endeavor of the entirety of the One Piece anime, I am an avid anime consumer, a weeb, if you will. I actually have a whole playlist dedicated to all of the anime I've seen so far, with it being updated each and every week. So it goes without saying that I obviously have friends and people in my communities who have taken on the mission that is One Piece, as well as consuming some moments and fights myself along the way. What I'm trying to say is what Netflix was trying to take on was not an easy task, and well, I can honestly only sing nothing but its praises. But in order to get to those, we must first get to the plot. With One Piece LA adapting the arcs of East Blue through Arlong Park, the story itself actually kicks off following the execution of the most notorious and world-renowned pirate at the time, Gold D. Roger, who after being captured by the Marines, Basically, the police officers or the enforcers of the sea under the rule and watchful eye of the world government proclaims in his last words that he'll be leaving behind his most sacred treasure, the One Piece, somewhere out there in the open water, or more specifically, the Grand Line, kicking off a new age of piracy, hysteria, and chaos in the eyes of the marines as a mad dash chase ensues in order to find it. Fast forward around 20 years or so, and it's time to meet our players. There's Luffy, your grand adventurer, leader and eventual creator of the Straw Hat crew, who seems to have a happy-go-lucky personality and glass-half-full kind of attitude that just rubs off on you no matter the situation. Oh, and also just happens to have rubber skin that can stretch for combat or defensive capabilities due to a fruit he ate as a kid known as a devil fruit. Zoro, a samurai that has taken on the difficult and interesting technique of a three-sword style who obviously has more to him than meets the eye. Nami, 
a master manipulator and crafty thief who's obsessed with money and seems to have a knack for map navigation, Usopp, a storytelling coward type with true aspirations to eventually live the lives of the adventures in his stories, Kobe, a timid but courageous lad saved by the grips of his pirate capture with the intentions and dreams of becoming a marine, and Sanji, a master chef, thrower of kicks, and lover of ladies, who eventually joins the crew in the last couple episodes or so. We watch as the crew comes together on their grand adventure to find the One Piece, all while navigating and avoiding the seas of dangerous monsters, enemy pirates, bounty hunters, and the marines. With each character receiving a varying degree of character development, motivations, interpersonal relationship, emotional moments, and tragic backstories along the way. All coming together in an action-packed, betrayal-filled finale that leaves the audience and I can't believe I'm going to say this, impatiently waiting for more. But in order to talk about what works so well with One Piece LA, let's dive into the pros. You see, while there's many accomplishments and achievements to be looked at and to gush over when it comes to One Piece live action, what really separates this momental feat and successful adaptation not only from their counterpart live-action brothers and sisters who failed to even leap from the nest, but even shows from some of their most successful studios and franchises like Marvel's She-Hulk, Captain America and the Winter Soldier, and WandaVision, Star Wars Kenobi, Warner Brothers Velma, and even Netflix themselves with their bastardization and inevitable future cancellation of The Witcher, were its characters. With Oda attached to the project and pretty much a every green light goes through me kind of showrunner, there's no doubt that the characters of the very baby he created were going to be adapted with the love, grace, and craft in which he created them with. But what makes the whole show pretty astounding is that it's spread across the board with this one. All of the characters, protagonist or otherwise, have this chemistry, interesting personalities, and deeper elements to them that you can't help but find yourself so immersed and engaged with each new character introduction and interaction. The action set pieces and fight sequences, while sometimes having a hiccup or two, were for the most part excellently choreographed and executed in a way that looks so grounded, digestible, and logical in a world and genre crafted from a logical physics and dynamics. But what really, really makes One Piece live action stand above the pack to become so successful and enjoyable from a consumer audience perspective is that everyone involved actually seems like they are having fun. <laughs> the cast and crew have no problem going above and beyond, giving over the top reactions and emotional character beats and directions that some over here in the West would deem as cringe. But the cast and crew don't care, and neither do I, and all that does is allow the audience to actually dive into a little bit of entertainment and escapism into the world that One Piece has to offer, an element that Hollywood seems so desperately trying to avoid at all costs. And speaking of the world, don't bother making sense of it because you won't. And I can't help but think, that's the point. You're supposed to be experiencing the world and its colorful landscape of characters from the eyes of your protagonist. And Luffy is exactly that perfect character to achieve such a goal. His attitude and energy towards his crew and the lengths he'll go through to protect them and continue his path of becoming Pirate King and finding the One Piece becomes kind of infectious the more and more you watch going hand in hand with his first mate Zoro, who's just a badass of a character as he is in the anime. Overall, what you have here is a specially crafted piece of escapist fun that grasps and piques your interest more and more with each new episode. Interesting, motivated, emotional, and nuanced characters written by someone who obviously cares about his work. Action set pieces, choreographed fight sequences, and a production value that would put to shame most of the process Hollywood blockbuster shit that we've been asked to ingest over the past decade, and a stylized but westernized Japanese show 
that sticks close to its source material in order to give their audience their best product. And when it comes to the cons, well, I just don't have any. One Piece live action was definitely a show for me and exceeded my expectations in a way that I didn't know the West was capable of. And while that doesn't mean I believe the show is for everyone, and a show you should definitely gauge the interests of the person you're going to recommend it to, I, amongst the millions of other people that watch this show, are impatiently waiting for a season two. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Man. Hindsight is the worst, huh? What a clown take by me. Make sure you comment down below how you guys felt about One Piece live action. Definitely the warrior weebs out there that have seen and continue to watch the One Piece anime. I would love to hear how you guys felt about the show as a whole. The noobs too, I still value your opinion. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, but otherwise, that's all the words I got for you today. Bye.